question number two here. We need to calculate the energy needed to heat 10 kilograms of ice. So the ice is starting here at negative 30 degrees Celsius here. And we are going to have add sens sens sensible heat to it. Starting from negative 30 degrees Celsius, we are heating it all the way up here. Um, so that's the heat we need to um, heat it to zero degrees Celsius. And at that point, additional heat, the latent heat is going to be added to turn all the ice at zero degrees Celsius to water to zero degrees Celsius. So we are talking about the heat, the latent heat here. After they all melt and turn into water, we have to add sens sensible heat to it again. To heat the water up to 100 degrees Celsius, and from 100 degrees Celsius, where this is now liquid water, we have to add additional heat, so then they can all be vapor, become vapor at 100 degrees Celsius. So we will stop here at 100. And that's all that we, we are trying to calculate. And, and we will stop here once all the ice turn into water, turn into steam. So the calculations that we need to do is to find the sensible heat of the each stage. So I've quickly written the formula here for you. So formula number one here, um, um, heating capacity, remember that we are using 2.093 now kilojoules um, per kilogram degrees Celsius because we are talking about ice here. And then latent heat energy for ice, turning from ice to water is 335 kilojoules per kilogram. Sensible heat, Elizabeth A. Sensible heat again from water to, um, from water at zero degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So we get 100 there. And then finally the latent heat from boiling water to vapor. And you get all these four steps together, do the calculation at the mall up, and then we will be able to find the energy needed to turn 10 kilogram of ice at negative degrees Celsius to vapor at 100 degrees Celsius. Thank you.